Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. Javil and welcome back to another episode of the Why Play Gaming Review Show. Little video reviews I do to sort of enhance the Steam review that I put on Steam stores for pretty much games that I play. Um, today uh, it's going to be slightly longer, normally I go for about 30 minute reviews. This game that I'm about to review, uh, Project Genome, which is... While you're reading this review, you're probably looking at the Steam store and going, I'm wanting into this game, but a little bit worried because of a lot of reviews out there are up in the air. And they they have every right to be, because this is a bit of a mixed uh, mixed bag of cabbage, so we say. Um, Project Genome just came out of the blue. I didn't even know it was in development. Apparently it's been in development for a very long time. Who knew? Um, as normal, if something shows up on the Steam Workshop, it must be good. Uh, sometimes that's the case, sometimes that's not the case, especially at the moment when I seem to be only <laughs> reviewing early access games. It's that sort of year that I live in where game developers seem to just release games as early access rather than just giving us games. So I'm rambling on here ladies and gentlemen, what you're about to see is some early access footage from the Project Genome Steam release, not the, there was apparently they had its own website and such. Um, I bought into the £12 package, uh, I've also gone and bought the Gold Edition. Uh, a fifty-two pounds, which should be seventy-five pounds. I don't know what your currency is. If you, you'll know it yourself, but there is a gold edition that I bought, which adds a lot into it. Uh, I will say this: I'm going to come back after the video uh, again. I'm going to try and cram everything into thirty minutes. Now, this is an MMO, and I don't normally review MMOs simply to the fact of they're forever changing and you're not going to get a solid package at the end of early access. They're not going to just drop it and say, this is the final version. We're cutting it here. That's what you're getting. This is an MMO. So it's going to be evolving as time goes on. Um, so bear with the video and I hope you enjoyed the footage that you're about to see. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, we are into the gameplay section now and I'm going to take you through Project Genome. So as I said, Project Genome is an sci-fi MMO. It's in early access and it's it draws heavily on Mass Effect inspirations and that type of style of uh, gameplay. Um, and I'll show you that now. As always with my reviews, I base them on certain merits and I always go for how well the menu system is. It's a bit difficult for me to say because this is an MMO so it will change as they've already confirmed UI changes are coming. So your game will possibly not look like this. Um, yours may look slightly different. Um, down in the bottom right hand corner we have the change region, exit and your status, so mine's tester. They've kindly gave us three character slots to choose from uh, in order to try out. Now I have already played the game, I got to level 4 but I've just deleted my character so I can start again. There is no options tab to do that, you just simply press the escape key. And we get our options which are very basic. Um, so I'm going to create my character. Uh, name. I'm just thinking of a name. Actually, not Sergeant. What I'm going to do, Doctor Javel. Contain oh. by Doctor Javel. 
I'm going to say is a male. Now there isn't any character customization. It is under development at the moment, so we can't customize the character. I like that. I'm going to go with that. Dr. Javel. Let's start the game. Now, I'm going to talk about a little bit of cons here while the game is loading. Um, a few cons are that people are noticing long loading times, incredibly long loading times. Uh, when you load the game up, for me anyway, it crashes a number of times. I have to battle with the game in order to get it to start. I don't know if that's an, just a, an ongoing issue, but they've already confirmed a lot of fixes. So by the time you get this game, the game will probably have been patched and is up to a standard of being able to be played. So just waiting for the loading screen now and we're going to get into some actual gameplay. Um, a lot of people are talking about the misleading trailer. So here we are, we're actually in. So as you can see, the, I don't mind the graphics. The graphics to me are fine. But a lot of other people are saying about the graphics not being too up to standard where the trailer said in engine gameplay rather than in gameplay footage. Um, graphically, I like the style. It, it doesn't like, affect me too much. What happened here? Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is the actual character himself. Now, his voice actor. I'm just going to throw it out there and be the white knight here, ladies and gentlemen. Voice acting is expensive. So, considering that they've actually gave you an actor who can talk, I'm kind of grateful. I mean, yes, he sounds... Looks like some batteries. Very mono, sort of... Isn't what I imagined my awakening would be like. Yeah, so he it's sounds very, very sort. I, I, I don't want to say crude and such, but the, the voice acting is expensive, and I'm just glad that they gave us something. I did like this for the tutorial. Everything is sort of in your face video telling you how to do stuff. inside. Listen carefully. I don't know if you've heard, but the emergency conservation protocol is on. I can see you on the monitor. I'll help you get out of there. First, let's open this door. We're lucky it's not a bulkhead door, uh, but she still won't be able to open it. Not with your bare hands. We're gonna need a special tool. So, just like normal style mass, like RPGs, uh, you get a choice system, move away or OK. So I'm just going to click OK. And we get our first quest, which is called the um, you know, first steps. I will give you a hint, ladies and gentlemen. Click on everything. When you see the little eye symbol, even you know if it's not important, just click everything. The mains must be glowing after it. Some documents. What is this shrimp? This kind of creatures doesn't ring any bells with me. Interacting with objects, which I've always told you about. You got unlucky, buddy. Not a merciful death. Great. Right. I see you found the laser cutter. I think you'll be able to open the door with it. Just some medicines. Q. So if we press I. I love the player inventory system. It is awesome and you know you couldn't ask for anything more simpler. It tells you all your stats and you have things split up. So I have clothing, weapons, various things. We'll go over them as time goes on. Only th little issue I found ladies and gentlemen was I was doing a quest earlier on. I had a really high level loot top i didn't realize what this little down symbol the this um the one with the hand there and it's saying drop that basically means discard for the love of god don't do it do not press that discard button because you will lose 
your high level loot unless you're really wanting to get rid of some stuff. So now that I have my weapon, if I just press the little Q button, the animations, and we get into the combat. I'm just gonna come over here a sec to some pants. Someone's pants. I may eat them. Another dead creature. Now I did like that. When you find like little objects like pants, gloves and stuff on the floor, rather than it picking them up, deleting them from the world, you get them in your inventory. So again, I'm just gonna right click go up there and now I've equipped some pants. Now the combat is basic. Uh, it's point and click. After I reload, of course. To the right. There's a group of live objects ahead of you. You must be on the right track. Come on, move. Get out of the damage unit. Disgusting. What? There's some liquid in these barrels. Something stinky. Again, ladies and gentlemen, um, just click on everything that you see. Research, interacting with objects uh, with the eyes symbol, you can learn stuff and NXP. Um, receive equipment, question your abilities. So, likes of this. What is this smelly goo? I'm all covered in it. I've now basically Shit. been it's empty. given a task. So, strange barrel. You have been infected, take medicine, or the disease may get worse. So I'm going to show off some of the combat here now, ladies and gentlemen. Now I would have liked a crouch button. Now a lot of people are saying that the control, like the combat is very clunky. But I like it. I kind of like the, f you know, I I like the combat style myself. Wait. Well, I'll be damned. Are those diggers? What the hell are they doing? Defibrillator. Do they reanimate people like me here? The remedies, they're everywhere. Digger gland. Aerogen. These boxes are everywhere. Is there a mess outbreak or something? Aerogen. So again, like I was saying before, you you find like little like armor pieces around the world. Raider jacket, not bad. And it puts it in your inventory. So I'm gonna equip this. Oh my God, how many corpses are here? Now, as I was saying earlier on, ladies and gentlemen, the game is very has a Mass Effect feel to it, um, and you'll see that later on in the video as we get like to the the player area. I'm not going to touch these barrels anymore. There's a lot of humor in exploded. the game. Now I know that they've also announced that they're going to be updating the the door is blocked. They're going to be updating the combat system so that um they haven't said exactly how they're going to update the combat system. They've just said that they're going to do that. Injector, you could heal yourself with that. It seems like someone survived. Let's 
see it, I'd, I'd have liked maybe an auto aim function. But at the same time, I don't mind the manual. Now, up in the top left hand corner, we have our name, and next to it, a number. Uh, the orange uh, bar is health. The blue bar, I'm not 100% sure yet. I haven't figured that out. We have the project version and alpha testing. Mini map in the top right hand corner. Your quests, your ammo counts in the bottom. Your experience bar along the bottom as well. And then you know, your MMO chat alongside there. So you get all your basics. There is nothing um, aside. For like, you know, your typical MMO. What a mess. Looks like hmm, the survived past here. There's the blood. There is smoke. We can go here. Okay. We can move on to the freight elevator. Oh, we've got more enemies behind me. My video is lagging slightly because um, I'm trying to record and I can't do very good recording. I'm not that cold to jump right into the fire. <laughs> junk, junk, and more junk. Nothing. They've already taken everything useful. Pretty good boots. So as I said, nice items just lying around the area. For you to pick up. I can't get in that way. Proud to ammo. Ooh. Hmm, it seems familiar. Is this the Bible? Here? Oh, You'll find these little things all over the place. Um, little things that you can just sort of read into the lore, the background and stuff. Again, there isn't really so much of a story. Um, you sort of wake up and then you sort of have to fight your way through to the player area. So I'm just going to run, grab some... There we go. Reload. Again, I would have liked maybe a melee, so like if they get close, you could have pressed B to like, you know, bash them. I should also note that your health regenerates as well. So again, why should you care about this game? Well, if you're looking for an early access game, Oh shit. Um, with you know some little bits of improvement but you know generally it's that time of year where there's not really a lot coming out and Nothing to be honest either. I'm looking for new games seems and like this seems to be a good game that I'm going to be putting a lot of time and effort into. Again I bought the gold edition so I'm a little bit biased. Um, I liked the concept. I begin to doubt that one can survive such blood loss. So yeah, I like the fact that it's an MMO, I like the fact that it's going to give me replayability. Uh, I believe from what I've read from certain comments that the developers are not planning to wipe after they come out to Alpha. So if you buy in now, you get to keep uh, some stuff. Bloodstain Watch. Ah, right, so we're into quest there. Um, I could be wrong about that. I I can't like definitely say that that's the case. Well, here's our survivor. As I thought, no one escaped. But she left us a really nice gun. You won't need but they it did. anymore. Now, pistol requirement two, and I believe in a second I'm about to level up. People are so nice here. 
crumpled note. You will die, bastard. You receive the God's wrath for what you did to us. Every minute of the life spared to me, I shall be praying for your guts to be spilled on the ground. Lovely. So, again, the content in this is very dark, gritty. I mean, clearly they, they're very comfortable in the way they're going down this route. Now, something that I found out was in the sort of items for quests, if you examine them, it'll tell me that it's a famous watch and stuff. But if I press the, the watch to pieces, oh, I now have this stash key, which is going to give me a quest. So this is quest items and stuff. Grab some more ammo. Again, that melee button would have just come in handy. Or some environmental... Um, Things. Oh, I'm getting really uh, bad frames here, ladies and gentlemen. I am sorry. still recording and it is the way out's not far away all right so we're not too far from the way out last 10 minutes ladies and gentlemen but as i said i'm probably gonna go over the 30 minutes with this one because it is slightly longer to show you everything that you need to know there you go quest items if you uh, interact with them and such Let's go in here, what's in here? Oh, we have some kind of tin can. Microwave. Can't do nothing with it. Oh, a hand to remember. Okay. God knows what this means. Sex of the unicellular or something. That's quite some literature local researchers are into. Cryogenetics is life, blah, 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 blah. So, 50 shades of cryogenetics. Well, as I said, ladies and gentlemen, they've got a sense of humor with this game. Um, you know, I hand to remember. So we've got a, examining a small amputated limb. I could destroy the hand, or... Well, I could heat the hand up in the microwave. So I've just heated the hand up in the microwave. I've just finished the quest and stuff. So the quests are pretty simple. The console is out. There's an unknown device ahead. Pipes are leaking, just like in my bathroom. Guy was basically going to say that this pipe, this uh, unknown yeah, device, will. Ten so many years. Again, some rolling mechanics, maybe a bit of cover, ducking and crouching. And I know they are. I know it's only just come out. Came out October the twelfth. Um, Great. You didn't so. get electrocuted. Now try calling the elevator. I did like this at the end of the tutorial from the developers Neuron Haze team. Thanks you for how much you support the project uh, genome development. Blah blah blah. Uh, I liked that. That was pretty cool. What's there? Finally, a way out. God damn! Does anything work here? The elevator control system doesn't seem to be working. 
We'll have to find another way. Listen, I think you should be able to squeeze into the vent. We need to switch off the steam supply. Use the terminal in the control room. Should have also pointed out if you press M, we have a map, and this basically shows us our quest and stuff. Oh. Now I like this, this just shows you the sense of humour and the nods they have to other sci-fi genres. Ripley? Ripley, you there? <laughs> Sorry, it just, you know, it just shows you that the, sen the sense of humour that the dev team have, I, I like to... These holograms are weird, what's he doing? Now, when you come to... Press and activate um, activate certain buttons. The guy doesn't really do any animations or anything. He just basically stands there while a bar fills up. So I'll show you here. If I press A, you see the bar basically filling up. Now, that was the tutorial. Uh, we've just got five minutes left. So what I'd like to say, um, I highly enjoy this game. So I'm going to exit and we're going to load into the main area. Now I've got five minutes left so I just basically want to tell you the, the reasons I'm enjoying this game so far and that is once we get into the next area you have a huge environment endless possibilities that the devs can do with this if they do it right and I feel like they are I feel like they actually are going to do this right um, that there isn't really a need to sort of you know, be worried or anything a lot of people are very angry over the fact that the launch trailer that is on the Steam um, page shows the game in a completely different light to what you actually get. And they're, they're right for feeling like that, because I did at the start as well. I, I watched the trailer and then I had to play the game and I had to watch a lot of live streams first to sort of notice the difference. But from the concept and the designs of, and the way they're going i can see this being one of those games to keep an eye out for and for 12 pounds at this time where the likes of battlefield and other games are sort of on the market there isn't really anything out there that sort of meets the genre of mass effect until you wait for mass effect andromeda which isn't like for another year and a half away maybe if they delay it so why should you buy this game? Well, it's awkward. If you're into MMOs, this is the one for you. Now, unfortunately, there is no single player campaign mode for this. There's no story sort of mode. It is a full MMO. Um, as you can see, there's players running around and such. It has, at the moment, a very live and active player base. I feel that the game is going to grow as time goes on. What I would like to see is better options uh, in the option screen to tweak the the, um, the graphics. And I feel that will come as we leave early access. I feel we'll get these options. Um, maybe up the graphics to what they were in the trailer. I know that might sound like a lot, but you know if you're showing off a trailer put it in again there's arguments for why they haven't done that you know they don't want to just throw the content in and tell everyone yeah go nuts and then have lots of issues so they're teething it in drip by drip basically to the players now i am looking forward to this game i am going to be playing a lot of it i might actually start doing a little bit of a uh, youtube uh, gameplay view which after this review i'm going to carry on i'm going to do an episode one uh, so it's a live in fact actually i'm just going to live stream the game is what i'm going to be doing and i'm just going to be posting my live streams so don't forget to you know like favorite and subscribe for them uh now i'm going to end it here um there isn't really there's so much to show you like you know i've, I've completed the 
the tutorial but here's the map of the inside and it's a big environment there's shops there's lots of quests there's lots to do at the moment that i haven't even like scratched on um the outside environments and such um Again, I'm looking forward to player customization. I'm looking forward to the mech battles because there is going to be those in the game. The gliders. Uh, there's lots involved with this game uh, that I'm just looking forward to. So I'm going to carry on. So let's, um, let's look down here. Oh. God damn it, you scared the shit out of me. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, come on, relax. Right, so I've got my first quest. Now, I'm going to end the video here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to stop, and then I'm going to start up a live stream, and I'm going to start live streaming the game, and I'm going to go on my team, speak to my friends, and have a chat with my friends, and just fuck about and stuff. Um, thank you for watching. As always, like, favourite, and subscribe. I will be back in a second with the webcam, um, and we'll finalise off. Hello. Right, so we're back. Um, that was the gameplay of Project Genome. Um... I hope you enjoyed the footage and let's see cons 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 I felt that there was a lot of things that could be improved with the game core mechanics via the combat the combat is slightly clunky but I like it it's my style of combat and I like that sort of point and click I know some people are saying that they'd like to just hold the button down uh, the click like the hold you hold your mouse button down and you just fire and stuff where you have to keep clicking to sort of shoot that to me felt normal i i don't know it, again it's this is it's an mmo and it's hard to do an mmo when you have a vast majority of people with their expectations on how the game should be and again with early access these type of things can change so i like the game as it is now and i already have seen that they've confirmed that there's going to be ui updates there's going to be engine improvements there's going to be lag stability there's going to be um menu updates and such i know some people like myself are having issues getting into the game when you load up with it being on the unreal engine that shouldn't actually matter but it seems that some people are getting into the game with flawlessly without issues others aren't um they have to restart the game one or twice to get in uh a lot of people seem to be pissed off with the fact that the trailer shows this beautifully in engine uh, footage rather than gameplay footage and a lot of people are getting held up on that saying like they've sold you a concept and you know this could be a lie it's a scam and stuff i don't feel like i've been scammed is what I'm trying to say to you. And that is the main point I'm trying to make in this review. I've paid the £12. I'm happy if they go bust. And they run off with my £12. Is basically what I'm trying to say. I feel like I've got a game here. That I could play for a couple of hours. And then okay. I'm going to get to a point where there's no more content in the game. Because we're in early access. And I can guarantee you within a month. I'll probably have this done. There's not more to see. But again, it's early access and it's an MMO. This is one of the reasons I don't like reviewing these things is because it will evolve. They will add more content in. They will polish issues. It's early access. So I just want to warn you about that. If you buy into this and you don't like it, thank God for Steam refunds because you can just refund it. Um, I personally feel the game is great. If you're a Mass Effect fan, this is a must for you. If you're looking for something to play with friends as a, a large group, this is a game for you. I felt the social aspects were lacking considering it's a multiplayer. We can't do parties, raiding or anything like that. We can. Basically, we all get the same quest and then sort of go off and do that quest. Um, 
the environments were amazing uh, from what you're seeing there. I know that wasn't very much because it was only the tutorial. And I'm trying to not show you too much content so you can go and find that out for yourself. Um, out of a score of 10, because I always score these in the text view, um, I'm going to give this a modest 7. A lot of room for improvement, uh, but not completely a failure like some, some games that I've played uh, and just been like really angry over. Um, let's see what else. What do I normally sort of score this on? Uh, I normally basically say, am I happy that I've paid the money? Yep, I'm happy for the content. I mean, I'm so happy I've actually bought the gold pack, which is 55 quid, uh, pounds, 55 pounds. So I'm happy for the money that I've spent. The money I've spent, I felt like I've got a return on. I felt like I've got something that I can replay and come back to. Um, as time goes on, it's going to get better. Do I think I'm going to have fun? I like the quirky little sort of Easter eggs that they've put in there. The Hello Ripley, are you there? There's another one somewhere else. There is little Easter eggs that the devs have sort of put in there tastefully for players who are fans of other genres that, that just sort of gives a nod off to the, the other like movies and things that have inspired this, this project. I'm happy to be a part of it. And as I said, I'm going to do live streams and probably game sessions based around it. Um... So yeah, thank you for your time. I'm not going to take up any more of it. This has gone on longer than normal. As I say, I normally try to do 30 minutes, but for something like this, it's too big to cram it in. Uh, as always, my name is Mr. Jervil. Please like, favorite, and subscribe, and comment for things that you didn't like in the video. Again, you can always leave me the thumbs down if you didn't uh, agree with my, my review. That is totally up to you. Thank you anyway. My name is Mr. Falcos, and goodbye.